morning students uh, uh, today we will discuss about the performance of reciprocating compressor uh, before we are going to discuss on performance reciprocating compressors uh, i think all of you go to the uh, study material where actually what is reciprocating compressors what is actually compressor what is the function of compressor why it is used and different types of compressor depending on the application depending on the pressure ratio depending on the stage of staging of compressor so there are certain division are there but according to that uh, we are discuss on reciprocating compressor and today we will discuss about the performance of reciprocating compressor we know that the reciprocating compressor is nothing that reciprocating compressor is actually uh, compressor where the uh, it raises its pressure it raises its uh, pressure of air or fluid by means of its reciprocatory motion that is called reciprocating compressors but uh, today's topic is performance of reciprocating compressor which are actually used in uh, uh, in in uh, vr cycle or not actually vr cycle it is actually used in actually vcr cycle and uh, now today we'll discuss on performance of reciprocating compressor so uh, this is your slide number 13 which we'll discuss today and uh, for given uh, evaporator and condenser pressure, uh, the important parameters as that. What are the main parameters? The first is mass flow rate. Mass flow rate. Mass flow rate of the compressor. So this is the main performance parameters. We can say that uh, mass flow rate of the compressor. Okay, now mass flow rate of the compressor, any device in any reciprocating compressors, it actually depends on its volumetric efficiency. It depends on, depends on volumetric efficiency, volumetric efficiency. Now, uh, volumetric, obviously the question will arise in your mind that uh, how do you define the volumetric efficiency when you discuss on performance of reciprocating compressor in case of uh, PCR cycle or VR cycle. Now volumetric efficiency is actually ratio between the volumetric flow rate, volumetric flow rate divided by compressor displacement rate, compressor displacement okay now we can write down also volumetric flow rate is nothing that is actually mass this is the mass flow rate into ve the volume represent and the exit condition of the compressor and p source is w means sweet volume so this is the mass flow rate of the represent is the exit volume of the compressor volume uh, volume of the compressor and the exit condition of, and psw actually is nothing this is actually Sweet volume, okay. Now, second point, the second thing is that power consumption, power consumption, power consumption of the compressor, okay. consumption of the compressor now it depends on uh, different parameters uh, like uh, we can say that for a refrigerant compressor or a power consumption of the refrigeration power consumption of the compressor that is defined is WC is basically ratio between W ideal divided by efficiency of the compressor into efficiency of the uh, mechanical drive compressor mechanical drive divided by efficiency of the motor okay and w ideal w ideal is it is the power required power input p 
power input to an ideal compressor. And uh, there is uh, certain this term mark actually like uh, this is your compressor efficiency. So this is your compressor efficiency. Okay. This is the mechanical drive efficiency. Efficiency of mechanical drive. Efficiency of mechanical drive. And this is the efficiency of uh motor rod efficiency actually efficiency of motor okay and the third condition or third performance of the reciprocating compressor is that the temperature at the exit of the compressor actually the temperature the temperature it's already given to you in a study material okay you can go through it and if you any query any problem you can contact with me now the third prob third point is the temperature at the exit of compressor the temperature at the exit of compressor and uh, it is basically depends on the type of refrigerant the type of refrigerant now it is depends on type of refrigerant what type of refrigerant we know that what is refrigerant where it is used and what are the certain characteristics or certain properties that require for a fluid is a refrigerant so that uh, on the type of type of refrigerant it actually depends and the types of compressor cooling so the these two factor actually depends on the um, exit temperature of the compressor so this is the performance parameter so third is uh, the temperature at the exit of the compressor and these parameters is bearing on the life of the compressor if the temperature is very much high if the temperature is very much high obviously the life of the compressor will be goes down so we have to concern on these two types of uh, two main uh, factor that is type of represent what type of represent we are using in the deputy reporting compressor and second in type of compressor cooling so actually we are doing compressor cooling depending on the cooling medium actually we are dividing into two um, uh, compressor cooling there are two types of uh, compressor the water cooling and air cooling compressors but uh, what type of compressor cooling are what are the effective method for cooling purposes we are actually uh, em em employment into there employ into there now the fourth point is the performance of the compressor at a part load conditions and it is depends on the uh, you can say that, that, that this is actually main factor this is the power performance of the compressor and the part load condition and depends on the type and design of the compressor uh, okay depends on type and design design depends on type and design and uh, of the compressor and uh, so if you write down the mass flow rate of refrigerant you can so main four points are there actually the performance first point was the mass flow rate of compressor what uh, rate of the refrigerant is flowing through the what rate of flow is actually occurs within the compressor that is the mass flow rate and that depends on actually these parameters like mass flow rate of the refrigerant it is exit volume exit volume of the compressor after compressing as a sweet volume now power second point is power consumption what amount of power consume within the compressor when we are uh, doing work in the uh, in the PCR cycle now that depends on the different parameters like compressor efficiency mechanical efficiency and motor efficiency third point was the most important point depending on is the exit temperature of the compressor that is nothing that is depend on actually types of refrigerant we know that certain lots of refrigerant actually we are using in our PCR cycle but there are only one refrigerant that we can choose depending on your requirement so types of refrigerant is very much important when you choose the exit temperature when you 
these are when you concentrate on exit temperature of the compressor second and and also depends on the types of compressor cooling medium the types of cooling medium it depends on it may be water it may be air cooling so depending on the uh, requirement you can use in the different cooling medium so types of compressor cooling what you require or depending on the represent you have to choose that and uh, and one more point and the part load condition okay and the uh, last point is actually the performance of compressor under part load condition and it basically depends on the type and design of the compressor Okay, so these are the main four points the performance characteristic you can say that the performance of the reciprocating compressors and uh, now in the numerical actually it is uh, it is uh, given to you that uh, there are certain sort of idea there are certain sort of uh, value will be given to you and you have to require different parameters like if you ask in your problem that what is the mass flow of refrigerant for an ideal compressor the equation will be the mass flow rate of refrigerant mass flow rate so this is the topic is covered now the mass flow rate of refrigerant is m dot is equal to v s w this is nothing but the sweep volume divided by v e or exit temperature sorry exit volume of the compressor okay so this is a mass product of refrigerant that can you define like that and the swift volume the swift swift volume swift volume we already are uh, designated with PSW actually the sweet volume that is nothing but small n into capital N into pi by 4 d square into L where n is the small n actually is the number of cylinder so number of cylinder Okay, number of cylinder and capital N is the rotational speed the speed rotational speed of the compressor speed of compressor no, no actually it will be the rotational speed actually okay this is RPM and D is the bore of the cylinder and L is the stroke length in meter so bore of the cylinder is actually so you can see this is the bore in meter and is the stroke length is the stroke length is the stroke length in meter okay so the main expressions okay now uh, if you define that uh, actually cover the performance of reciprocating compressors but uh, anywhere we cannot uh, anywhere we actually don't identify the ideal compressors okay now if you want to have some idea on ideal compressor what should be the characteristic or what should be the property should be there so that we can call it as a compressor as the ideal compressors okay now ideal compressor is such type of compressor ideal compressor is one actually in which the clearance volume is zero we know that suppose this is your piston cylinder assembly now suppose this is your piston cylinder assembly we actually gone through this now this suppose this is your piston cylinder assembly now you know that this is your top dead center this is your bottom dead center and this actually works from up and down from this position and this is the internal position this is called bore and from top dead center to bottom dead center the piston can travel that is called stroke okay now piston can be moves up to top right center not up to this point so that's why there are some gap are given so that there are no damage within the cylinder so that is called actually clearance that is actually called clearance clearance actually given to the compressor because of the, the no damage of the compressor okay now now you can if you if you can idea have ideal called reciprocating compressor now ideal reciprocating compressor reciprocating compressor okay ideal reciprocating compressor now ideal reciprocating compressor actually where is 
you can say that the main point is that the clearance volume is zero clearance volume is zero so that means at the end of the discharge process and the volume of cylinder refrigerant inside the cylinder is zero and second point is no pressure drop no pressure drop no pressure drops when when during during suction and compression okay and another point is that suction compression and we know that there are any, any compressor there are main four stages are there so suction sorry compression and discharge and discharge and discharge are reversible and adiabatic that means it is a isentropic process you note that any ideal process actually compression expansion process both are works on isentropic processes so what are the uh, conditions so that you can uh, reciprocate on compressor is called ideal first point is the clearance volume should be zero second point is no pressure drops during suction and compressor and third point is suction compression and discharge or actually or all actually occurs within the reversible adiabatic process that means a as isentropic process okay now suppose uh, if you uh, identify the PV diagram PV diagram of an any reciprocating ideal reciprocating compressor you will be see that so this point D this point A here this is B this is C now the total work done total work done actually indicate total work input total work input so what is the work done uh, in reciprocating idle reciprocating compressor that will be the total work input to the compressor in one cycle is equal to nothing but area under the curve area under the curve a b c d in pv diagram where uh, d to a actually the evaporating and b to c actually indicate the pressure of uh, condenser pressure okay Now, total ideal work that is W I D is equal to W D A plus W A B plus W B C. So W I D you can write down also minus of P E into V A plus integration from V A to V B. So this is the limit uh, P D V plus for B to C, the work done for that PC into VB. Okay, that is nothing but WID. You can write down also PE into PD, PE to PD, VDP. So that is also PE into PA plus VA to VB, PDV plus PC into db okay now the specific the specific work input to the, the specific work input is equal to also write down wid is equal to capital wid divided by mr or mr is the mass of refrigerant
mass of tape is joined compressed in one cycle okay mass of tape is joined compressed in one cycle so uh, today we'll discuss uh, we can discuss on the next class uh, for today's uh, class for thank you for watching uh, thank you very much